It seems like winter has finally arrived here in sunny Spain, at least about two or three months after it's arrived everywhere else, which means that we'll probably only be having two weeks, maybe three of winter before we break into spring, like what everybody else will be breaking into spring really soon. But that's enough of the weather conditions here in Spain. Without further ado, let's roll that intro and get stuck into this week's news in the week in triathlon. The first piece of news this week is that Australian Brady O'Donnell broke the UCI hour record in Adelaide, setting a new distance of 46.882 kilometers, thereby beating Molly Schaefer van Hoerling's um, record by 609 meters. Apparently, uh, Brady was bang on target right from the right from the gun, right from the get-go. Stayed on pace all the way through, although she did um, suffer and her lap times dropped off by a half second or so per lap over the course of the last 15 minutes as the effort of the hour record attempt started uh, sinking its way in. But that's the type of thing that we've seen happening uh, all around the world with everybody's hour record attempt is that the last 15 minutes is literally the make or break as far as the hour record attempt is concerned. So well done to you, Brady, and let's get stuck into the first of the four modalities for the week as far as specific triathlon modality news is concerned. First up we have news from Ironman and the big news coming out of Ironman is that Tyler Butterfield has finally been given the all clear to restart training. After finishing fifth in Kona, he travelled to Mexico to compete at Ironman Cozumel. However, he came down with an infection believed to be three different parasites, leaving him barely able to finish the race. It's now three months later and having been given the all clear to restart uh, training, his fitness has been decimated to such an extent that he's barely able to get through a 30 minute run. Fifth in Kona and just a couple of months later barely able to get through 30 minutes of running. Uh, he's hoping to be fit enough to be able to do Ironman 70, Iron 70.3 in St. George, Utah on the 7th of May, but we'll have to see how his pr- training progresses through, through that is concerned. Now there's a lesson to be learned here for all of you age groupers out there, is that stay away from any open water swimming during the course of race week. You have got no idea what's out there in the open water, you've got no idea what's out there in the water, what you might be ingesting during the course of your open water trainings from during race week, and the last thing that you want is for all of your training and preparation for your iron distance, your half iron distance event that you've been sacrificing so many hours of family time, so many hours of your life for. You don't want all of that to be wrecked during the course of race week. Pick up a bug by swimming in the open water during race week and come the night before uh, race day, you're throwing up into the toilet or you arrive at the race venue on race morning, puking all over the place and absolutely wrecking your uh, days out your days racing so the lesson there is and um, coach brett sutton keeps all of his athletes away from open water during the course of race week he only trains them in the pool in the indoor pools where there's control over water cleanliness because it's chlorinated so he swims them in cl- chlorinated water during race week to make sure that the water is clean and that they see stay uh, infection free because remember when you're at race weight your body fat percentage is way down which means that your immunity system will be compromised and you're far more susceptible to picking up bugs from swimming in the open water so that's the lesson for you all to be able to learn then as far as last weekend is concerned there were zero Ironman events on the Ironman calendar and this coming weekend coming up now again zero Ironman events on the Ironman calendar next up challenge family news and the big news from, challenge, from the Challenge family is that Finland will be joining the Challenge family on Sunday the 14th of August with a half-distance Challenge Turku. Then, as far as events are concerned, there were zero Challenge events last weekend, but this coming weekend, that's on Saturday the 20th of February, there will be a full Challenge distance event, and that will be Challenge Wanaka, and that is in New Zealand. Onto the world of Xterra, and the entire focus of the Xterra world at the moment, as far as news and any information coming out of Xterra, is that Xterra.
Terra South Africa will be taking place this weekend. And I remember my experiences in the 100 plus degree heat in Hrabo out in South Africa because after all, everybody remembers their first time. And as far as events are concerned, last weekend there was nothing on the exterior world tour to be able to report on. And as I mentioned, this week, Sunday, the 21st of February, is the exterior South Africa in Hrabo. Next up, the ITU. The big news out of the ITU is that the ITU has opened the bidding process for the 2017 World Series events as well as the 2019 ITU Grand Final. As far as events are concerned, last week and on Sunday the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, there was a um, American, or it was actually a um, Iberico-American um, Sprint Distance Cup event, and that was held in Havana, Cuba. Uh, the women's race won by Camila Alonso of Spain, while uh, Carlos Javier uh, Quincharo uh, Forero picked up the men's title. Then also on the 14th of February, the, again in the uh, Havana, Cuba, a Iberico-American Middle Distance Cup event was held, and Ellen Hart of the USA picked up the ladies' title, while Gustavo Rod Rodriguez Iglesias of Spain picked up the men's title. Then also on Valentine's Day was the Winter Triathlon World Championship in uh, Zeltweg in Austria. And you had uh, Yulia uh, Surikova of Russia picking up the ladies title while Pavel Andreev of Russia picked up the men's title. Then again, still on Valentine's Day, there was the South Asian Games in Gawahati in India and you had... Pallavi uh, Retiwala of India picking up the ladies' title, while Dilip Kumar also of India picked up the men's title. And the final event that took place on the ITU calendar on Valentine's Day last weekend was an Oceana Sprint Distance Cup event taking place in Kinloch, New Zealand. And you had Rebecca Spence of New Zealand picking up the ladies' title, while Ryan Fisher of New Zealand picking up the win for the men. As far as this weekend coming is concerned, it's all happening on Sunday the 21st of February. You've got an Oceania Continental Cup taking place in Devonport, Tasmania. That's in Australia. You've got an African Continental Cup taking place at the Troutbeck Resort in Zimbabwe, of all places. And you've got an American Continental Cup taking place in Mendoza, Argentina and a Winter Triathlon World Cup that will be happening in Quebec, Canada. So that brings us to the conclusion of the ITU events for this week. That brings us to the end of this week's edition of the Week in Triathlon. Excuse the rather cramped conditions that I was recording out of this week, but as I mentioned, winter has arrived, and although it's not raining right at the moment, it has been raining, and there have been no dry surfaces on which I could put the PC down to be able to keep uh, my teleprompter going as far as what all the different news items are concerned. But remember, stay tuned to my channel for all the content that comes out to you daily. Remember, every single day of the week, there will be new content coming out on this channel. Every Friday, the week in triathlon, every other day of the week, there will be an athlete question and other newsy items relating to the world of triathlon, the world of trail running, and the world of cycling will be coming up as and when they happen on a day-to-day -day basis. Remember, uh, post any comments, questions, criticisms you have, post those in the comment section down below. Thumbs up if you like the content, share it out amongst all your friends, and remember down below the screen is a red subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, that way you'll be up to date with all that new content that comes out to you daily. Until I see you next week, Friday, for another edition of the Week in Triathlon, and every other day of the week for athlete questions and answers. Remember, stay carved up for the win, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Coach Ever, but next.